Think fast, chuckle nuts! Infinity's AI. We're going to study the historical battles in hopes of increasing your tactical skills for the future. As a bonus, it's a pretty fun game you can play in your spare time. So let's get to it. Hello everyone, Pretty Scooter here, and think fast, it is Halo Spartan Assault. Now, I have no idea what to expect of this game, I don't know what this game entails, all I do know about this game is it was a mobile game created by the current makers of the Halo games, 343 Industries. But yeah, it's, it was a mobile game primarily that was made. And it has since been ported to PC. Now, being that it used to be a mobile game and is now currently a PC game, the port has made it so that the game is only run in 720p. So it's not going to look the most absolute crisp, but it will still function how it's supposed to, I am hoping. <laughs> Anyway, with a lot of these, with a lot of these Think Fast videos, first thing I'm going to look at is the settings. So, basically, you can choose how you want to play the game. Um, there are three ways that are set up, and you, I may, you may have seen a little glimpse of that when I in the little intro slide, I guess you can call it, or the intro scene. Basically, you can choose between an Xbox 360 controller, which I'm going to play, which I'm going to play with. The mouse and keyboard, which probably works just as well. Or, if you happen to be somebody that has a touchscreen computer, which those do exist, or are playing on a laptop or a tablet, you can choose the touchscreen method. How that particular method works, I don't know. Like I said, I never played it on mobile. I have it on a at-home PC. But, this does say one thing in my brain. It says one thing in my brain. This is the first Halo game that we have gotten on PC since the original Halo Combat Evolved. I mean, I keep saying, I've said it before, and I and I will keep saying it again. A, um, I was, I've, you know, it keeps holding itself true and true time after time. The, oh geez, that didn't stay put. Sorry, I'm messing around with things. <clears throat> I will say, you know, something I've said time and time again. Either get, I would say get get two systems in your life, a PC being one of them, and then something, and then probably either Sony or Nintendo, because whatever doesn't come out on a Sony product or a Nintendo product is eventually going to come to PC. Anyway, that's just me personally, but these are all your video settings. Woo! Look at them go! <laughs> Some high-end video settings there. Let's see, and I want to make sure. Okay, I am on the best setting for that. Alright, whatever. Now, just from what I've seen from trailers and whatnot, it, this game looks like it's a top-down twin-stick shooter. Loading up records for the Battle of Drathius V. The fighting started when a splinter sect of Covenant ignored the ceasefire of 2552 and attacked UNSE forces. By the time the fighting was done, well, it didn't end well for the UNSC or the Covenant. Either one. Spartans Davis and Palmer were both stationed on Drathius V's moon at the time of the first attack. Let's see how they succeeded in repelling the first assault waves. 
Cool. So two totally different Spartans besides that random one in Dead or Alive 5 and... <laughs> yeah, so two different Spartans all together. Oh, we have different missions we can play. Northern continent of X-50, Drathius 5's moon. Those are large ice-covered sinkholes where you're going to see... You know, the... Okay, I think that's more of what we already done. So, select my loadout. So, I need experience to unlock these. Oh, I have some experience. Um, I'll keep the assault rifle because that's my baby. Secondary weapon. Um... You know what? I should actually be looking at these. Alright, you know what? I'll keep the pistol. I'll keep everything they want. Armor ability. Regen field. Stationary drone that attacks hostile targets. Overshield. Seeker drone. You know what? I actually will take the overshield. And I don't even know what buttons these are all bound to. Let's see. So it looks like I can... I can add skulls if I think it's too easy, which is good. That's actually kind of cool that they have that in there. Boosters. Let's see. Shield booster. Damage booster. Score booster. Uh, let me get a shield booster because I don't trust myself. Alright. Let the strike commence. Oh my god, it looks pretty. Okay. Okay, left. Okay. All right, cool. So okay, so yeah, it is a top-down twin stick shooter, which I rather love. I twin stick shooters are pro are some of my cre I've got my some of my gravy right here. Have a grenade. There you go. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, I can switch out weapons. Um, do I do it just by holding X? Oh, I hit X to switch out my weapon. Okay, I'm going to keep my pistol, but I do know that option is available. Um, oh, they're over here. I wish there was some kind of cursor here, just so I knew what was going on. All right. Catch a grenade, buddy. <laughs> Warm up that pitching arm. Is this a concussion rifle? Sorry, I'm just kind of getting lost in this because Halo, because you know, for those of you that did know, Halo was actually where I started playing the entire Halo series. I. Sorry, I. I'm trying to figure this out. Like I said, I'm... Oh. I didn't even do that. Or did I do that? I don't know. Mission accomplished! Yeah! <laughs> what did I do? So the button layout actually for this game is pretty much the exact same. Excuse me. The button layout for this game is actually the exact same layout as it is for... Okay. Sorry, you, okay, so you can switch between missions depending upon how the assault works. The button layout for this game is the exact same as uh, all the other Halo games. Left stick moves you, right stick aims you, right trigger shoots, left triggers grenades. Haven't found what the bumpers do yet. Probably activates my abilities. Uh, X to switch weapons, Y to switch... X to pick up weapons, Y to switch what weapons you currently have. I don't know what B did, A... I don't think I did anything with A either. Whatever. I, I don't know, so far I'm all on board. Alright. Uh, no, I am ready. Let's just go ahead and get this done. Okay, so right bumper is my melee. Uh, left bumper is my regen shield. Okay. Destroy the fuel rod turrets. Okay. And I have a radar. Hmm. 
No leaving. Uh, can I get in this? Yeah, I can. Well, let's see. Hop back out. Alright, so at least this kind of stays true to the normal Halo formula, if if you if that means anything to you guys. Oh. Let's grab a backup gun. Mine. Sorry. Target has been neutralized. Oh, I overheated my turret. I forgot that the, uh... Yep, I realize there's targets. I forgot that the Covenant weapons in these games are... Oh my god, that's a sharpshooter. Uh, can I jump? I don't know what stuff does. Punch! But yeah, it's, uh... Nope. Not even gonna let you use it properly. Don't explode at me yet. I actually need you to shoot stuff. Gotcha. Ah, damn it. I can't hit anything. Alright, what do we got for weapons in here? Uh, we got... Nothing. That I, that I don't already have. So... I will say, though, it does... There is a lot of quality in this game. <laughs> There is a high amount of quality in the game that I really like. Like, there's there's a lot of good attention to detail. Why? Who threw that? I did not throw a grenade. But yeah, there is a large there's a large attention to detail within this that is really well, you know, that's really well made. What's this? Oh, a hologram. All right. Yeah! Suck it! Catch! <laughs> but yeah, there... Oh my god, I'm actually just loving this so much because everything actually works really well and functions near... Oh, so perfectly. That and Twin Stick Shooters have kind of become my jam... Have also become kind of my jam over the last few years. Like, Beat Hazard was, was a game that I really liked. Binding of Isaac, that's kind of an obvious one. And we're shooting! Alright, cool. Switch out to the alien guns for a bit. But yeah, it's just... It's a twin stick shooter that functions really well. It's got a lot of nods to... Come on, hit the elite. Here, catch. Thank you. Wow, how did I do that? Oh, God. Come here, you. Come on, you, wanna, you don't want to play? Fine, we, we don't have to play. Sheesh. Just take it like a man. God, oh, hey. Plasma grenades. <laughs> but it's an... I, I do like this a lot, you know, twin stick shooter or not, it is basically a nice, faithful recreation of Halo, but for something that's a lot more suited for a mobile market. Uh, reach the drop ship, or the drop site, uh, go around. Wait, um... Oh, I, I finished. <laughs> Didn't even notice the giant pelican there, or falcon, or whatever it's called. Um... But yeah, it's really well made. It's a nice re-envisioning re of the original Halo games. Which, you know, something that's uncommon for a Halo game, that's, you know, that'll, that, that makes me happy. Let's see. So I have Sprint. No boosters. Let's just go in with the bare minimum right now. How about that? Ever ever escort the Wolverines. Damn it, Logan. You're supposed to be better at things than... Oh, hello. What's your name? Oh, those these are Wolverines. APCs. But yeah, at least with a controller... 
with the controller, it is very smooth moving and it is really well made, or really well designed, at least for this part of it. I'm pretty sure in a mouse keyboard it'd probably function even better. There's what I and I actually even though I miss it, I think it's a good idea they took this out, but they uh they don't have the random they don't have the random halo or they don't have the random guy from the from the other games shouting out like uh We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. We there's not the guy from like the uh from like I said, the uh, console Halo games that just shouts out, you know, like, uh, double kill, triple kill, overkill, kill him on Jaro. You know, that guy. I like that guy. Yeah, I switch back to my assault rifle. Standard weapons are standard, and they work. You can get stuff done with a standard assault rifle and happiness. Catch! You are not taking fire. Trust me, you're okay. Come here, you. Bam! You're fine. Give me a second to get over there. There's an overshield. Come on, what's the problem? What's the problem? No, you're fine. Don't worry, I got you covered. You'll be okay. And then the Banshees show up. Fantastic. Oh, and the dropships. Come on. Now. Catch. <laughs> what you got on me now? What you got on me now? Alright. Uh, I'm running out of ammo on both my weapons, so we're going to go into full, uh, full aim weaponry. Okay, good. We have a full automatic weapon. Where where are you taking fire from? Fire. Oh, from there. There. You're taken care of. Don't worry. I'm helping. And you killed one of my helpers. Good way to go, tanks. You ran over my guy. And now Come here, you. Gonna make your day sad. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much fun. It is a little stiff, because, I mean, this is just a personal gripe, but, I mean, it's really hard to see where you're aiming, because there is no aiming reticle on the screen anywhere. Oh, I almost got it. I almost got a full-on. Full-on gold star. There is no aiming reticle, which... <laughs> It makes me upset because that would help with the game so much if there was. But, like I've said several times already, it is a really faithful, it's a really faithful recreation of the Halo series, but on a mobile market. So, I guess if you have a mobile phone of some kind, I think it's primarily Android devices actually, you can get this game as well. But, it is available on PC for about $5 to $10. I'll have the actual price listed down below. In the description. And, yeah. It's really good. I don't know if there is any kind of uh, cooperative setting. If there's not, oh well. You can still play through it for the fun of it. And challenge yourself with various modes. But, I think that will do it for today's episode of Think Fast. Thank you all for watching this episode upon Halo Spartan Assault for the PC. And I ask that you all join me next time when I react to a new game for the first time.